Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the amount of torque you can pull at different speeds. And this works the same way on most helicopters that exist, that you can pull more torque at a lower speed than a higher speed. And the reason for this being is torque is a transmission limitation. It's not an engine limitation, but the torque is measured in the engine. So that torque gauge isn't what the transmission is getting, it is what the engine is putting out. So for an example, let's use the AS350B2 because it has nice round numbers. If we're pulling 100% torque, the engine is putting out 100% torque and we're in a hover. 94% of that torque is going to the transmission. And then 6% is going to the tail rotor. Now we start transitioning into forward flight. On the AS350, the vertical fin becomes effective at 40 knots. So once we pass 40 knots, the vertical fin has completely offloaded the tail rotor. And now the engine is still putting out 100% torque. But the transmission now is getting all of it, as opposed to it being split between the transmission and the tail rotor. I hope that answers any questions you have about the torque differences at different speeds, and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.